Hello beauties! So today's video is going to be all about a newer makeup brand. Um, so Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez. Got a few little things here from them. Um, before I get started in the actual products and um, getting into the actual details of them, I wanted to talk a little bit about the brand. Um, so Rare Beauty is actually a brand that Selena Gomez just launched and among the many amazing things that this brand um, is trying to do, um, I wanted to highlight one thing in particular. So the idea is really to reimagine the ideals of beauty, um, but there's one thing that Rare Beauty is pledging to do, which I absolutely love. So they have something that they're calling the Rare Impact Fund, where they're pledging to raise $100 million that is gonna go towards the gaps in mental illness and mental health um, in that entire industry. Now, they are literally giving 1% of all of their sales directly to this fund just to, again, help with mental health, which is a big deal because, in my opinion, I know a lot of people, including myself in times, that have you know gone through some issues with mental health, and it's a very easily overlooked part of our society, and it shouldn't be. So I do love that, that is something that they care about, that they're taking the time and energy to give back to. Now, I... I'm going to do a little review um, for some of their products. Now, I'm gonna preface that I did look them up a little bit beforehand and based on the stuff that I saw, um, it seems like the products were a little more lightweight. So in my mind, I just figured super natural, very no makeup makeup kind of a look. So I kept that in mind when I purchased the products that I did. Um, so the three that I got were the Illuminating Primer, got their concealer, and then their liquid blush. So those are the three that I'm going to play with um, for this video. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go through the application, give you my feedback as I go along. By the way, this really is gonna be the first time I'm trying it, so um, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna do like a wear test, so I'll pop back in every couple hours, let you know how it's holding up. Um, again, I'm trying to wear this more naturally, so I'm hoping that it's gonna hold hold through the entire day, um, but we'll see how it does. Um, before I get started, again, I did want to reiterate that I'm gonna keep this very no makeup makeup kind of natural, so just keep that in mind. Um, so I'm starting with the primer, obviously, and I'm gonna go in with my hands for this. Now, I will say it definitely is illuminating, which I do love, especially for a no makeup look. That nice little natural from within glow. Um, it is a very good consistency, not too tacky, not too runny, so it's spread pretty, pretty easily. No real tugging at my skin. I got very good coverage. Um, so application-wise, primer is good. We'll see how it actually helps um, hold things up throughout the day. Um, next, I'm just gonna go in with the concealer. By the way, these little knobs, I may be mistaken, um, but I read that the intention behind it was because of um, Selena Gomez and lupus and, and all of that. And so it basically is meant to make it easier to open with the palm of your hand, your foot, teeth, whatever it may be, um, so that when you can't actually grip things to open them, if that happens, um, they're easier to open. So I don't, again, know if that's actually true. I haven't seen anything on their website or their social media that specifies that, but I did read that, um, I think in an article in InStyle. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply. Okay, so we have a nice little applicator here. I don't think I've ever seen one kind of like this. I don't know if you guys can tell. We got a nice sharp angle. It's thinner at the top here. But yeah, we'll see. So I guess you can do a little bit more precise application, or if you wanted to, you can go kind of thicker. So that's nice. I'm just playing with this, by the way. I have no idea what to do with it. Yeah, so it kind of, yeah, you, I guess it has more diverse forms of applying. Just gonna mess with a few different spots. Um, and then just go with my sponge. And I do see it is like a nice, very nice light coverage, which is good. I don't know if you guys can tell, but 
super duper light, which is great, like I said, because I was intending to make this a very no makeup, makeup, natural look. <laughs> and it looks like the stuff I read online was pretty accurate. So it is pretty light coverage. I'm sure, I know it did say it was buildable online, so I'm sure you could build up. Um, and of course, I don't have the foundation because I was planning on making this a more simple natural look and I'm sure with the foundation you can absolutely build up the coverage. But where I am right now, I think this is literally perfect for what I was trying to do today. So here we are. I add a little bit more around my nose just because I get a little veins. And my bust, busted blood vessels down here. Um, that kind of bothered me. So there we are. So that was the concealer. Like I said, super light coverage. The finish feels pretty natural. Um, use the sponge, super easy to apply. I am not the type of person to apply concealer with a brush, so I don't imagine I'm gonna try that out. Um, but if any of you do try that and you'd like it better, let me know. Um, I'm always open to hear what other people are doing and trying. But yeah. Spread pretty evenly, again, light coverage, but I'm sure it's buildable. I'm just not going to do that because again, I want it to be a natural look. Um, so far though, I, I think it's good, again, for a super natural look. Um, now I'm just gonna go in with the blush. So I got it in the color Grateful. By the way, I completely forgot the concealer shade I used was 210N, which does seem to be literally perfect for my skin. So I use 210N. If you guys have similar skin tone, just keep that in mind. Um, and then, like I said, the blush is the co uh, color Grateful. Sorry, I already forgot. So, I'm gonna go ahead and, wow, add that. It's a very large, um, that's our applicator. Very large one. Um, so I don't know if I wanna use this, cause I, with liquid blushes, a little goes a long way most of the time, and I don't wanna overdo it. This is kind of large. I think I'm gonna, I'll just use a corner maybe little dabs like this for now and maybe just go in with my fingers by the way you can tell the shade that I got for grateful is a very very bright red which is a new shade for me but I wanted to try it out just because it was so unique so it does blend really well with my hands which I like for liquid blush and a little did go a long ways <laughs> especially with this really bright color I actually have to clean some of this up I got a little too much up here maybe do a little less than I did that first time I'm learning as I go um so I guess on this side I'm gonna go way less so maybe I'll do three dabs to start we'll see if I need any more Honestly, I think that three little dots is enough for the entire cheek. So if you're using this blush, just know three little dots should be good to go for each cheek. And I actually kind of want to do a little teeny tiny bit just right here. That might be too much too, but we'll see. Okay. By the way, I'm definitely making this a blush forward look just because I want to see, again, how everything holds and I might as well just make it blush forward to see how the blush sticks up um, and throughout the rest of the day. But that's that. Um, again, blush was really easy to apply with the hand. I probably should have tried with a sponge too, but um, honestly, when it comes to liquid blushes, I'm a big finger person. I just I feel like it blends much better that way. Um, like I said, pretty... Pretty good pigmentation, a little goes a long way. Looks beautiful, super natural looking um, when you blend it out. And I love this. It really is a good, like, no makeup makeup routine. Um, so, okay, application's good. 
I will say it feels a little bit dewy on the blush, whereas the concealer went on a little bit more matte. So um, we'll see if that, if that kind of mattifies a little bit more, if it stays on the dewier side. I guess it's more, a little bit tacky, I guess, not dewy. Um, so we'll see if that dries up. I'll let you guys know um, in my next video where I am kind of catching you up on how it's holding up. Aside from that, I'll get back to you. Okay, so we are about four hours in from the last video. Um, just wanna point out a few things. Um, I did add the blush onto my lips afterwards just to kind of see um, how it would work hold up there. Um, so literally right after I stopped the last video, I put a little bit on my lips. And to be honest, not only has it worked really well, it works a lot like a, you know, tinted lip balm. Um, and it's lasted so far. My lips are still totally hydrated, which is a complete issue for me because I have very dry chapped lips. Um, so that's been really impressive so far. I'm actually really, really happy about that. Um, the other thing is, so the blush did end up mattifying after maybe 15, 10 minutes. Um, but my oil is starting to peek through now, which is normal for me, because again, I have really oily skin, but it's not really bad, and honestly, it's not picking up. So like when I touch my face, like I'm not really getting any product on my fingers, um, so that's good. It's really, it's still sticking there. The oil is just kind of coming through. Um, so, so far, I'm happy with it. Again, it's supposed to be, you know, makeup, makeup look, so I'm not expecting anything super crazy, but the fact that it is holding up, um, the concealer seems to be holding up as well. Again, not getting super crazy oily, um, but this is the most impressive part so far. I'm actually really, really, really excited about this. Um, so we'll see how this lasts for the next um, four more hours or so, and I'll let you guys know. So see you soon. Okay, here we are, eight hours later. And main things, um, oil's definitely peeking through. I can tell down here, I mean, obviously areas that I, I touch throughout the day um, have lifted so i'm losing coverage down here that little bit that i did have blush is completely stayed but again like oil is completely coming through but still same as before where i tap on it i'm getting oil but i'm not getting actual color pigmentation so it's still sticking onto the skin the oil is just coming up through it and then my lips stayed teeny bit stained um from that blush i have eaten drinking a ton um since applying it and i still have that tint um, that I don't normally have to my lips. So overall, I think the color and the longevity of it are amazing. It's just, um, I guess, what areas that you touch aren't the greatest. Um, but overall, for a natural no makeup makeup product, they are all amazing. I am actually kind of interested now in trying out the foundation to see how that works. But there it is. Um, so it lasts. Pigmentation stays, especially with this blush. Um, as both a blush and as a lip stain. So I think right now that's my favorite of everything. Um, but again, I'm probably gonna try out that foundation next, so we'll see. And if I do, I'll let you guys know what I think. Thanks for joining and I'll talk to you guys next time.